We still don't have answers to even basic questions about the massacre in Las Vegas, but we do have a lot of questions. Jesus Campos emerged publicly for the first time this week. He was the only eyewitness, certainly the first, to the shooting at that hotel from within the building. He gave an interview on the Ellen DeGeneres show, but bizarrely, the whole interview apparently was part of a marketing push by MGM, which owns Mandalay Bay and, among other things, operates several Ellen-themed slot machines. Watch. I have a brand new slot machine. It is from IGT and it's got new bonuses that are so much fun. I was in Vegas and I went to the MGM Grand and I surprised some people who were playing my machine and here's what happened. Wild! Yes, focus. Come on! Stay your So now the Daily Mail is reporting that MGM, the company, makes those slot machines, insisted that Compost appear only on Ellen DeGeneres' show, fearing that his responses to any other interviewers, real ones, could alter the public perception of the shooting timeline and affect their legal position. Chris Spargo is a Daily Mail reporter, and he joins us tonight. Um, so, Chris, this sounds like part of a, I don't know if cover-up is too strong or not, but part of a marketing effort. This sounds designed to spin rather than explain the facts to the public. Yeah, that's exactly it. Now, we heard last week that Jesus Campos was going to get five interviews on Thursday, and after two and a half weeks, we were all looking for answers. There's just so many things that are still lingering about the shooting. And then a few days before, he just disappears, and we don't hear anything at all. And then we learn on Tuesday night that he's going to do Ellen DeGeneres of all shows. Now, we spoke to a TV insider who confirmed to us that this was all MGM. They were concerned about the timeline, which keeps changing in this case, and that Jesus would not be able to keep it straight if he was put on very hard talk shows or news organizations were going to pressure him about it. I mean, look, I, I feel for Campos. He was, didn't do anything wrong. He's walking by, shot, or hit by a ricochet. I'm still, still not clear exactly what happened. Um, so I'm not attacking him in any way, just asking an honest question when I ask you, why is he a hero exactly? Ellen DeGeneres did this whole thing, you're a hero, and we love you, we're celebrating you. According to the timeline, I don't, where's the hero part come in? I'm honestly confused. What does that mean? Well, that's the whole thing, too. I mean, the original timeline had him showing up at 1014, a minute before the shooting stopped. Then the second timeline came out, which is when he was heralded as a hero, which said that he arrived at 9.59, which was six minutes before the shooting started. Now, that's a timeline that caused all these problems where people were saying if he was there six minutes before and it took police all this time to get to the room, then there was clearly some miscommunication. Right. Did he phone into MGM? Did MGM not tell the police? What's going on here? And now you have victims, victims' families, other people who were shot thinking, well, if you didn't call the police for six minutes, what could have been saved if this hadn't happened? Okay. Um, have we settled on a timeline exactly, or have authorities given us a definitive timeline that makes sense? So here's the other part, is that Jesus' interviews are going to be Thursday. Well, on Friday, after those interviews get canceled, we get a third timeline. Now, this timeline has him arriving just as the shooting starts, the police arriving at 1017 in a reasonable amount of time. MGM is okay with that. Police are okay with that. Everyone seems to have, you know, worked in proper ways and through protocol. Okay. So, do, uh, and we're certain that's real? I mean, there are federal investigators presumably at the heart of this investigation, the FBI. They introduced themselves to us on television a couple of weeks ago. What are they saying? Has anybody come out to say, look, there's a lot of confusion here, but we're saying definitively we know this? I mean, this is, you can't say definitively at this point because it's changed so much in the past two weeks. There's still, like we said, so many questions about this, and every single version keeps changing. So no one's really saying a lot right now, but as of Friday, that's what they're saying is the definitive for now. Has law enforcement said anything about the fact that MGM, a for-profit company in whose hotel this tragedy took place, is controlling the narrative here? We couldn't get any response, and we asked about that. You know, We said, why, why are you changing this timeline? What, the, the way it's happening is weird. The timing is very you know, suspect, but no response whatsoever. Yeah, so you know, there's a huge crime, biggest shooting in modern American history. Let's let a casino company tell us what happened. Exactly. Yeah, good idea. Okay, Chris, thank you. Thank I you, appreciate Josh. it.